Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Hi guys, so girl Lilim Tams, also known as Girl Pazid Monika Zambia. Uh, this is my Facebook page, Lilim Tams TV. For those of you who followed me on YouTube, you know that uh, I'm a YouTuber and I speak about things. I'm a, I'm a woman of justice and I hate it when women are being degraded degraded to the level that everybody is celebrating. So uh, a, bit, a little bit of history um many of you zambians condemned me for telling um makitu's wife huntinga uh the truth and my truth was uh she should change on her dress code and she has changed um with her dress code and um it was important that i spoke at that time but to you guys it looked like I was just somebody who is jealous about someone's wife and I'm, I'm speaking about it. I spoke about it because I saw the future coming. You know, the way human beings behave, they wait for an opportunity to strike. So I'm not surprised that there's certain rumors that are coming out because of uh, the certain things that have been happening in her past. But yes, she's changed and I love her to bits. I've I've celebrated her on my page that's me you know I'll celebrate you I'll, I'll, I'll rebuke you and I'll tell you if a wrong is a wrong or a right is a right then we have the beautiful clear eyes queen whom I have known for many 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 years I used to also help manage her YouTube and you know vivo channel uh, so I'm not just talking from without when I talk about music business I started the vivo channels for these artists and I was trying to help them to push their music and Cleo Ice Queen were able to hand over and she her management took over her music so I used to run Cleo Ice Queen's page so there's certain things that I know about Cleo Ice Queen about her husband I've known them for a long time yeah i've known them for a long time and then we have um is it yolanda i've just known her on social media as this beautiful woman who doesn't have a facebook page but i heard that she has instagram i've never really followed her on instagram and then we have a very stupid very stupid boy that spends his time looking at the negative of women coming on social media calling us uh, uh, spam chamber and all sorts of things and you are clapping and the majority of people are clapping look let's not beat about the bush the stupid boy that has stated that message saying there's a musician uh, the, the musicians the young brother is i don't want to be caught his name is shaka zulu his name the younger brother has got a wife just can you just let it out already that you're talking about Makato and his brother and you're talking about clear ice queen as young money because she sang a song uh, secure the bag you understand me this is what I always say about you guys your social media is bloody toxic Whilst the Nigerians are making money on Facebook, Ghanaians are making money on Facebook, the Kenyans are making money on Facebook, your Facebook is about who is being doddered by who. Are you going to believe that bull crap that a married woman with integrity, with a husband who is a celebrity, will be around Zungulila ring with different men changing cars for what? That is the value of women. I'm not going to beat about the bush that the person was sending. 
The person was sending a message that these women, I never knew that they sleep around. This one does this. This one was even on a trip for uh, uh, South Africa. For crying out loud, Clear Ice Queen has been a brand ambassador for many, many, many brands. The girl is beautiful. She's a goddess. She has all the features of a beautiful woman. And it is, it is disgusting for someone to always want to insult people's wives. The other day, the idiot was insulting me, who is Mr. Lupia's wife. Dragged my husband, Kwatika Puba. The other day, the idiot was insulting um, uh, George Mutonga. George Mut added George Mutonga's wife. George Mutonga is someone who likes to joke around on social media. And he was talking to this young man called Brian Chanda. And all he said was, Brian, you, you know, outside uh, Zambia, come to America. And the bugger thought it was right for him to interfere in a conversation between a, a man and another man. And started dragging his wife, insulting somebody else's wife. How dare you? And that is why I was happy when George told the idiot, shit. Don't entertain rubbish. That's your social media. And then we have fashion police, the little stupid boy that is busy always sharing in stupidity. You are there, you have no job. And all you do is sharing insults that degrade women. The useless Zambian social media. Okay, after insulting Diden Mutambo, calling her Spain Chamber, you've even posted on the stupid, useless page called Zambi uh, Fashion Police. You post there. Now, the following day, you are posting another person. Another day, another day. How much do you make from this rubbish? If your bank account per post is not up to a thousand dollars, you are you are wasting time. Because YouTubers like Cora Obidi and Facebookers like Cora Obidi are making more than twenty thousand dollars per video. $20,000 per video. How dare you drag someone's family into rubbish? I'm not Makutu's biggest fan. But when something is wrong, I will stand by it. You understand? I will stand by these people. Because you want to bring so much injustice, confusion among families because the person who is engineering lies is working with the water spirits, is a demon. Is a demon. Your mission is to destroy families. Your mission is to see people suffer. How dare you want to put clear ice cream down that has worked hard from South Africa? Clear's older sister is a friend. When Clear was starting, I remember very well. She was popular in South Africa with her shows and everything. She's worked hard to be where she is. Then an idiot, just because the husband has decided we are going to keep our marriage offline. I've seen all their children. You've never seen their children before. I've seen their children. Very beautiful children. And you want to come here saying this one is a prostitute. That one is a prostitute. Alice Musuka is doing well in America. She said this. This one is doing this. You are this. Whatever somebody will say, you never mention, you never mention. The fact is, you are subliminally dragging this family into rubbish. You understand me?
I don't care if you've heard stories about uh, this one and that one doing all those things. But it is not right for you to bring it to media and now start uh, publicizing, oh, this is what I heard. And then they were, ah, I thought even the quiet wife is this. And then people are now saying, ah, the noisy musician's wife, we thought she's, she should follow this one. So that girl is not an inspiration. There is young people on this platform that are inspired by these people. And your mission is to just destroy every person and just spoil their name and call them prostitute. If this idiot never dragged me or other people, I would have said, oh, okay, there's a story like that. I would have still ignored. But because the idiot came to social media and told a bunch of lies and idiots posted about it, about me, the idiot is lying about Makatu's wife, Huntinger, Clear Eyes Queen, and Yolanda. I don't care whether no man, name was mentioned. The fact is, you, 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 you it's like you, 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 are, you enjoy seeing people, uh, laughing about people. You buy to my cheap bundles. Mark II had a successful show. How come you never spoke about it? Mark II had an album, uh, end of uh, career album. How come you never spoke about it? Mark II had uh, different experiences. How come you've never spoken about his success? And you want to drag his family because you are jealous of his career. This is the Zambia where everybody is looking for what negative story that should trend about someone. And in this case, I don't care whatever subliminal message it was. I was very upset to see people. I was very upset to see people talking Ah, so, yeah, Shaka, the brother, the family is successful in their musical career. Oh, you want to celebrate people when they are dead. That is a Zambia that we know. When somebody dies, you will suddenly be paying tributes on your platform, putting flowers, going to their funeral, seeing them laying in their state, and you'll be there, yeah, you'll be playing their music all over social media. What a pathetic generation. I pity you. Because these same people that you are dragging, you could go to them and start a business. You could go to them to say, look, you have fans in Zambia. They want to know your wife. Can't we start maybe a t-shirt line or something line? But you are there, spreading lies as if you are being paid. For free. For free. And I, I didn't use any makeup, so, so shut up. Stop disturb, distracting me with your useless comment. Do I look like I use makeup? I just told you I'm from the dentist. Rubbish. What am I trying to say? I feel... I feel sorry for you guys when they tell you all these rubbish stories. Ah, oh, I get it. That is why I came on my platform and I celebrated the women because they are beautiful, they are gorgeous, they are brand ambassadors. Anywhere they go, their beauty radiates. They carry a star. Then you, Chokwadi, from your village and your demons, you want to come and put someone star down and come and call them, they are prostitutes, they sleep around. Are you mad? Are you mad with Jimmy Pa? Which wife, which African wife? Excuse me. These are well-taught women. These are women. Don't disrespect them as if they, 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 they can just wake up today and then they say, You can't. That is why they love each other. They are where they are. I know many people her, think I hate that young lady. I simply was just correcting her. And I've heard rumors about how, hey, she was dating Kalandana music. Excuse me, some of these things, it's crap. 
It's somebody who wants to put these people down. You see, the music industry is fucked up. I'll use that word. Because you have people who've seen these guys succeeding. And Chef has no scandal. Chef is clean. The only scandal that people were trying to pin on Chef was when he went to perform accidentally at a PF event. And people wanted to pin it on him like he's a PF cadre. But his brother has always been PF proud. You know what I mean? So it's painful when I see a young man who has worked hard. He's been a pro-flight ambassador. Hennessy ambassador. You know what it means you were to be a Hennessy ambassador? Then you, you want to come here and talk, talk. The guy has never come to social media. I mean, I'll tell you. The guy has never come to social media to brag about his wealth. But he has built a mansion in Lusaka. If he had shown it on Facebook, by now, you would have said he has joined Satanism. By now, you would have said he's Illuminati. But the guy lays low like he's a nobody. He knows why he's doing that. If you see with your eyes, chef's house, you will, cry, you will go and sleep and say, God, when? The guy is a multi-millionaire. Don't look at chef like that. So an idiot somewhere is jealous of his success. So the idiot decides to start formulating lies because another idiot did Chinese whisper to the idiot. And the idiots on Facebook come and share the message on Facebook because the idiots want to trend. Rubbish. Rubbish. Someone has worked hard to be where they are. Then you, you'll be sitting down there. Okay, which woman would be senseless enough? Your husband is a top musician, top rapper in Zambia. He's flown by Hennessy business class to London, to places. And you now take yourself to another man and say, I want a, a, to a, a affair. Are you mad? Zambian women they are loyalists they love their men because that is what we are taught kumafunde you understand me so you can't excuse me everybody is looking for a trophy husband everybody is looking for a, a celebrity husband when i say everybody you know in court and courts at least anyone would be happy to have Hey, Yolanda, oh, celebrity, oh, chef's wife. Everybody would be happy to have that. So imagine you are a celebrity's wife and then somebody will say, you've been cheating, you've been going here. Ah, even the quiet one is doing, and all of you are even believing. Ah, who she can she? Quit that rubbish Chinese whispers. There is no Shaka Zulu anywhere. There is no Shaka Zulu's young brother anywhere. There's no uh, young money anywhere. Cleo Ice Queen loves her husband. Kaladocious. You know him as Kaladocious. He's ka he's, he's, uh, is it Kala Kalal? Yeah. Kaladocious. He loves his wife. They decided, even when they were having their wedding, it was quiet. Courageous Ruku. And then one person, whether it's a relative of a friend, leaked the, the picture. And the picture went viral. They did everything silent. Even when she had a baby, she was quiet about it. She's never done baby shower to show you pictures and whatnot. She's keeping her page strictly music business. Clear ice cream. That doesn't mean that every musician is what he is. The other time there was even an idiot that was talking about Mampi. Hey, Mampi, this, this is... The idiot was uh, was talking about some PF ministers. Hey, so a, a woman cannot be successful until she has to open her legs. A woman cannot be a millionaire like myself until she's receiving a, a child support. Excuse me. What is child support? 20 pounds. 20 pounds can buy a jelly coop like I'm driving. Jimmy Pa. So quit that rubbish of going in the corner and saying Ishaka Zulu. Yeah, so is Ishaka. Boom, Nandi. You are wicked people. No quit party my empire. See how the Nigerians celebrate their artists. 
that is why I condemn some of these artists that decided to be bragging to you on social media. I said, lay law. As for Chef, I'll stand by that boy. Even when you, if you check any platform, when they ask what is the best album, I always comment Chef 187. Because even his heart is pure. You have failed to target him. You have now gone for his wife with Jimmy Parr. The last time, uh, Makutu and the wife posed to the picture uh, with a child. Ah, uh -uh, next thing, it's Muzo's child. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Well, what is wrong with you people? It's like, come on, what if you're a kuchita? Why can't you have a monolo effect to Munti, Ichindu Chimichimuchi Tikiri? Why can't you have it? We all want to to more, Pacafiawe, Pacafiawe, Pacafiawe. Ah, uh -uh. evil sumaza cheetah, and especially when men are the ones dragging women on social media and calling them bitches, calling them what's what, what, and you're also you, the woman, you're praising. It's high time, Zambian women, you cheat. It's high time, Zambian women change their attitude. You need to change. When you hear somebody is talking about a sister, calling her a prostitute, talking about how a, the person smells, stinks, is what? You go there and attack. You go there and attack. How dare you? You go now and post about David on Facebook and insult him. You see how the whole Nigeria will insult you. Nigerians can allow you you can allow themselves to talk about an artist but they will never allow you a foreigner a stranger to insult them you will know, you will know what the meaning of ubuntu is those days we used to joke in the groups about kenya versus zambia when we had that group zambia scorpion you would see how the kenyans would come to attack zambians it was for fun that is the spirit we need to have where you see this is not right you even tell the one who has posted good idiot put this down but the idiots are looking for numbers so they'll be there sharing trying to disgrace families the young people that are inspired by these guys are now thinking so there's no inspiration out there yes there is an inspiration out there and chef 187 is an inspiration and yes market 2 is an inspiration and yes clear ice cream is an inspiration yes hunting is an inspiration and yolanda is an inspiration because in their own right these are powerful women in their own right these are beautiful people all they did is give themselves to you zambians uh, we are at your service we'll do charity work we'll be brand ambassadors we'll give you good music and what do you give them in return disgracing their families all i ever did is to come on social media and tell you about the opportunities in britain and what did you give me insults attacking my family it is satanism to attack families when you, a Dochi, the Nigerian superstar, went to pick another wife, Nigeria was divided into half. Some were saying, yes, you should get a second wife. Others were saying, no, it is wrong. And some of us were against it. Me, I was against it. I remember people even saying, Iwa Nelia Shiaku, Nigeria. I said, I'm not happy about this. Guess what? Tragedy struck. Now he has lost a son. Look, the social media is, is filled with people chanting on pictures, deities, demons. They are looking for ways to put people down. They are looking for ways to use an image. Oh, Lilian Mutambo will be the next president of Zambia. So what do we do? We call her a prostitute, a spam chamber. Yes, let's send this message. They are being used by demons. So don't follow have you seen me i'm a fan of makutu i post makutu 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 but when something if somebody's trying to when something is wrong it is wrong and we need to stand by each other 
I came on this social media and I called Bowman or some idiot. And where were you? You were quiet. Me, I, I will talk. You are busy on this page. You will go to another page. You will be celebrating. You will be celebrating. This is someone who is a brand. These are people who can go in a shop and buy things. They can go and get things even for free. Guys, it is bad. Katusheko Muleya and I feel sorry. I'm going to pick up my daughter at a private school because since us we suffer. I'm supposed to go now and have a meeting. In Britain, ask anyone what it means to take a child to a private school. Yeah. But the idiot has told you, I'm waiting for child support. Which idiot can give you money for you to take your child to, to, to private school in England? Go and check how much it is. I'm talking about private school. I will not allow any fool, any jobless person that is busy with other women womanizing and because they are yeah hi can you for java you now want to start demonizing people it's up to you as you continue sharing and commenting when was the last time you prayed when was the last time you called on god when was the last time you asked god to be part of your life many of you you are busy you buy data you are even addicted to this uh, social media you rubbish people that are posting rubbish from one person to the other so tomorrow another story comes. it's different guys if there's a story of a man has found a woman pregnant in a shrine what what do you like that pregnant story is different those stories are different but in this case not when somebody saying ah it's like this person does this idiot you saw them so apparently somebody told you you even come and say guys so a post for me a zambia fashion police nachuchi bub kwati chi sushi wa posta no kuposta i feel sorry for you guys i know a lot of multi-millionaires in zambia millionaires they laugh at you they're not even on facebook they say our facebook ni mukomboni that's what they call facebook It's combonic. They just follow maybe news media platforms. Now, thank God for other newspapers that just do their own thing. They like the post, they have their online thing. People don't even come to Facebook. Say, ah, Facebook. So you know, Riaisa, mungu mnyewa ti shaka zulu, nyonyo nyonyo nyonyo, na mama mbano kuseka, hey hey, fa chaba, madi a shaya bupoba, mle toto shana, nok toto shana, pafia bupoba. When was the last time you called on God? You need to revive yourselves. You today you are jobless, not because of haka inde hichilama, because you are you follow stupidity. You are following stupid people. People who will never, okay, what, what job has Bubu ever given you? What job has that idiot ever advertised? We advertise and the person starts saying we are doing brothel. Which brothel? Are you, what, what Jimmy Pa? Which brothel? Do you know what brothel is? So the three queens, I'm not going to beat about the bush. I made sure I mentioned them so that you can pass on the story to the idiot. Cleo Ice Queen is happily married with Kaladocious. They keep their relationship quiet. Huntinger is happily married with Makutu. You saw a little of their relationship in their program and it was the best successful. Stay out of these families. Chef, mwah, I love that boy. He's, he's, there's just something about him. He's, he's humble. A family of talents they are blessed how many african uh, nations do we have where you have a family i'm a 
ama star kupata bena makitu it is a blessing naomba ma idiot hapa zambia you are disgracing your people look at nigeria they made sure peace square there were stars peace square today they buy houses in london of 1.2 3.5 million dollars kuma us you which star can come to uk to say i've come to buy a, a house because all you do is degrade them Palast wambo kupefo mapama cockpit. What you want is for an artist to finish. The other day, you were uh, you, were, you were condemning this guy T Boy in America for acquiring his citizenship, and I said you guys wanted T Boy to be jobless, to be singing in cockpit, and then you'd be saying yeah, but Jabana Sila. It is painful to even hear the story of George Wangu how he died. It's painful. No legend should die like the way the guy died. Give people flowers when they're alive. Give people their rewards when they're alive. Celebrate them. That should be your goal. Don't wait for someone to die for you to come now and start celebrating them all over social media. We have so many albums that have been released. Why aren't you talking about albums? You, and you are so confused. One minute you're celebrating album, the other minute you're insulting Lina Mutambo, the other minute, what type of internet is this? Can you be focused onto something? Focus. There's so many people who are successful. There's a young man who's doing farming. And you'll be there, you inherited. Hey, he had a good start. Yes, go to him and say, my friend, since you had a good start, how can you help me as well? I want to start a business. The rich mingle with the rich. You think the rich people will be on Facebook? Zambian rich people are not on Facebook. We, the diaspora people, we've used Facebook as a means of communication because we do advocacy. Zambian multimillionaires that I meet, me, I go for dinner with in Zambia, that we have barbecues with, we eat, we enjoy, they are not on this stupid Zambian social media where there's useless kids this one and that one all you know is the shag this shag this shag this can we start the spirit of ubuntu the other day there was a nice post about can you relate to the tribes i want to start my own group namwanga group namwanga people were business minded we don't have time we're going to start our own group namwanga group we empower ourselves as namwangas from Isoka, from Nakonde, will be multi-millionaires. Don't have time. You continue. Wait, we are forming the Namwanga group. We'll be millionaires. And Namwangas, most of them, they are successful. That is all we know. So, my final thought for you guys is, the Zambian internet should never put women down and you are celebrating it should never be a platform for me if you see me talk about someone it's because they disrespected people and i want to put them in their place that is why i'll go against them to say you need to do this i don't have hatred for anybody i love my zambian women and they are beautiful zambian women are gorgeous let us celebrate our people whether you are tired or whether to you it's a lie or not i don't care these women are successful me myself lila and tambo i'm successful the other day i was shocked you guys were laughing at muzinga melu love you've never found anything to laugh about her she's there as the boss of absa she's worked for banks this lady has a powerful cv but that day, she trended. Why? Because you were laughing at her husband. This woman is over 50. Uh -uh. She just looks young. She goes to the gym. But you were laughing. Why? Because some idiot somewhere is not happy that a female is a boss in Absa. And they can't find anything wrong with her. So they use it as an opportunity to laugh at Muzinga Melo. That lady is an inspiration and so are so many beautiful zambian women if if mampi travels abroad i'm always proud but i know an idiot somewhere is planning stories to say who does she go with that's your own wahala 
idiot. These idiotic men of social media that want to put Zambian women down, tell them off. One Zambia, one nation. Don't let idiots put your fellow sister down. Don't let idiots put women down. Don't let idiots insult women. Women are not made as prostitutes. Women are made as the generation carry. A, a woman brings out nations. A woman, without a woman, idiots that are talking about women. Without a woman, you the idiot, the bugger, will not be born. Have some respect for women. That is why I like the culture of West Africa. You, how dare you talk about a woman? Who are you? When a woman disgraces herself, it's different. But when you have no evidence, you can't be there insulting a woman. You have no evidence. When you have found her alive, yes, you can say, ah, we are shocked. How dare you? Look at the way West Africans carry their women. Sweet mother, I'll never forget you. They have been raised to be lovers of their women. Because some tribes, they are respectful to them, some women, some Zambian tribes. Maybe if you meet maybe, I don't know. The, the way they've taught you some of your tribes. I don't know. But now it's high time even the president puts in laws where women must be respected. That's why we wanted majority, you know, having the 50-50 in parliament, women. Because women even in parliament, there are a few. And the only thing that a man will be there bullying, look at even Dora Salia. That woman is powerful. But her CV has been dented with, she likes small boys. But the lady has qualifications and she's well connected. Most of you were even shocked that Dora Salia is the one who handles uh, Mr. Ndambo's uh, finances. But you obviously will say, oh, obviously she's dating him. Because the idiots have sold that image to you. They are selling that image that women, oh, they know, kulala fe kwisula fe amol. Not every woman opens their legs to get to where they need to be. We use our knees and pray. And God opens doors. Clear Eyes Queen is successful. And are you aware that her husband has been the one pushing her for projects? He was in the background. So you idiot can't come and start talking about a family using subliminal message. If you have, you have the balls, you could have said it direct. Say their names. You know that it's defamation of character. So you bugger. You couldn't even mention their names. You couldn't. If it was true, why didn't you say, Makutu, your wife, Kaladoshas, uh, uh, your wife? How much is your bank balance? If your bank balance is less than $10,000, you are poor. You have to look for opportunities. These same people you are insulting, those people, they know people. They are musicians. They are invited for private birthday parties. Why do you have a private birthday party? They meet multi-millionaires whilst you are there, typing on your phone. Parika mattress. Now, you are not going to be chunks. Na sala di You are talking about these people. And when I have now seen poverty, you like poverty. The poor will forever remain poor. From what I'm seeing. Because I've seen Nigerians who are poor, who come to these platforms. They are now successful. You know why? Because they decided to change the narrative of poverty. They started doing videos. When you do certain things, you get to meet people. Who knew that Kaladoshas would be invited even by, by your maps on stage? Who knew that you'd be invited by, by um, Yango? But the, the young man is being invited because he simply used his phone. Today, you, because you can't, you, 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 you can't have what he has, you now start saying, eh, I, I can have, eh, I would like to be like a man like, like eh, um, Kadochi, is it Kadochi? but not eh, his face. You are now mocking his face, his look. 
I love, I love, uh, uh, we love the, the girlfriend, but not him. So some of you, you are even praying and fasting. Visaka see life. Visaka see life. Visaka see life. Me, I'm even the chief financier of that wedding. I am pledging 50,000 for Kadochi's wedding. 50,000. I am pledging. Me and my husband. 25, my husband, 25 me. We will pledge for their wedding. What type of rubbish is this? A young man is, that is how he's surviving by vlogging. As he's talking about Yango, Yango is paying him. Lenny, let's go and pick up um, Ellery. Go and take Daniela. As he's talking about Yango, Yango is paying him. As he's talking about those restaurants, guys, so in South Africa, restaurant, Nadiavasu, the food was giving. He's being paid. Or even being given with Daniel inside. Yeah. Or even being given discount. The food was giving. One time I saw Kadochi was the first first days. He said, You know what? He was saying, Ah, baby wanga to grave. Those are the first days. Ah, man, I didn't have the money to buy the food. I said, Ah, I felt bad. I said, Kadochi, take her for dinner. He did a video, even put my name. That's why I'm saying it. You, you could have been eating free food as well, but your mind is always which is the latest gossip. Gossip. Even you, some of you even use your parents' uh, uh, phones. You know, the other time uh, Simon Mawa said, "When you, are, I don't have a kiss with Donel." The other day Simon Mawa said, "If you're above what, what age is that? You are still living with your parents above 18." That was Mr. Walker saying. It's an American thing, obviously, that when you're above 18, you shouldn't live with your parents, right? Um. You shouldn't be living with your parents. And it, it's a very good statement. And if I were you, I would be challenged. But guess what some of you went to do? You started fighting him. You, you just inherited your father's uh, property. Ah. To me, Facebook is full of people who are not exposed. You claim to be exposed, but many people are not exposed. Because if you see how Nigerians are flying business class because of Facebook, they make money. As you are watching them on Facebook, they make money. If you see how they are flying across the world because of comedy, eh? Maza does comedy, you start fighting him. This young man does comedy. Dinema, you are fighting him. They, and they, by the way, that young man has a powerful album. Check it out. Support him. The gods must be crazy. Support the young man. You understand? Having said that, I believe that these families deserve to be respected. The three families mentioned, and any other family I've mentioned. And it is my encouragement to you to forget what you've read. Delete it off your mind and focus on the good and positive side of these people. Believe you me, God can only open doors to people who have, who have a sober mind. Because when you look at someone, you say, wow, I love the way God you have blessed chef. I pray that one day me too, I can be there. Just that you've opened doors. Now you'll be like, hey, chef, ah, there's no ziba in here. My musician, never bother. JK is an inspiration. You are waiting for him to, to cross the other side. That's when you go and say, ah, oh, oh, JK, yeah. And you are very, you are very good pretenders, Zambians. Very good pretenders. You know how to write a proper obituary for someone. And it is sad. Let me go now. I love you guys. I'm off Facebook. But I cannot tolerate anyone put any woman down. You bully women, I come back. You bully another woman, I come back. Women are not sex slaves. Women are not uh, spam chambers. Women are generation carriers. That should be your motto. I love you guys. Take care. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. 
Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.